Namaste. I am Manjula. Today I am going to make uh, chole or chana masala. It's a garbanjo beans uh, with various spices. So I'm this recipe I am giving. It's for serving for two. I am using the can garbanjo. Uh, so I have already opened and washed it. Uh, we are going to open our heat now to medium high and put 3 tablespoons of oil before adding any spices we need to wait till it gets hot ok now my oil looks hot it was all medium high to just test it we can put couple of cumin seed and it should get uh, roasted right away like you can see so now we are going to put in this pinch of hing 1 teaspoon of cumin seed and 1 teaspoon of besan and just uh, roast it for few seconds So this uh, besan uh, gram flour, it becomes this little bit, little bit golden, gold brown. Now we are going to add tomato puree, which I have made with one um, large tomato, one spoon of ginger paste. 1 spoon of green chilies finely chopped half a teaspoon of turmeric half a teaspoon of chili powder and 3 spoons of coriander powder now stir this and keep stirring for a couple of minutes till this mixture becomes about half and you will see the tom tomato has started leaving the oil coming out really good just a couple of more minutes <coughs> now this looks right and you can see it has started leaving the oil it's time to add the garbanjo beans mix it We are going to add one spoon, teaspoon of salt. Salt is really on your taste. Uh, you can put little more or less. So is uh, uh, chili powder. Uh, it's, uh, if you like more hot, so you can add more or you can just take it out. We are going to put uh, about half a cup of water. and let this simmer for about 10 minutes ok this has been cooking for about 10 minutes this looks ready uh, we will just going to press some of these chickpeas not too much just some partially and add little bit of garam masala maybe one fourth of a teaspoon it's ready to serve and I'm going to garnish this with the tomatoes and some cilantro so 
I have some just add to add some color and we will put some sliced tomatoes and it's ready to serve smelling good you should try this recipe it's easy to make and you can really serve this with any kind of bread thank you and we will see you again